Good Monday, everyone. Jasper Guns are here. Another episode of What's Next. Of course, the home of your daily dose of common sense and facts. Well, we start off a new week after coming off one of the most hellacious weekends in media history. And of course, one of the biggest decisions in 50 years, finally getting overturned. And of course, we talk about Roe v. Wade. Of course, more specifically, the Dobbs decision. But okay, but they decided to package it all in one, and the Supreme Court got rid of it and has sent it back down to the states where initially it should have been from the get-go. Now, of course, you have a number of meltdowns from media to sports to celebrity. Well, celebrity, we're going to cover on another video. In this video, we're going to do sports two-way. One, who's a clown, and the other, you thought you had common sense, but you may want to think about it again. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Too dangerous to vote Republican. Barstool Sports Chief Dave Portnoy, who is also known as El Presidente, rips Supreme Court for overturning Roe. On Friday, immediately after the U.S. Supreme Court overruled Roe, Barstool Sports Chief Dave Portnoy ripped a decision, exclaimed that Republicans are too dangerous to vote for, even if people are stuck with morons like Joe Dementia. Portnoy took to his Twitter account with a video Friday to tell his fans uh, that the high court's Dobbs ruling is pure insanity. We're going backwards in time, Portnoy exclaimed. We're literally going backwards in time. It makes no sense on how anyone thinks it's their right to tell a woman what to do with her body. I just don't get it. Let's listen a bit. Okay, emergency press conference, uh, Roe vs. Wade just got overturned. Let me start by saying this is a Dave Portnoy press conference. This doesn't reflect Barcelona, all right? Barcelona is 300 whatever people. They all may think certain ways. This is just me, how I feel. I feel like I have to speak on this issue. I already talked about it a little bit. To me, this is just pure insanity. Pure insanity. We are going backwards in time. We are literally going backwards in time. It, it makes no sense how anybody thinks it's their right to tell a woman what to do with her body. I just don't get it. To take away the ability to make informed decisions on how they want to live their lives is bananas. I know people will be like, well, no, it's a constitutional issue. They're just giving it to the state. Well, like what, 20 states are saying they're going to overturn it right away? And what if you're poor in that state and you can't go to another state? Things like that. It's just nuts to me. Not to mention the same people are saying, you know, they want to take it away and overturn it are also like got to protect guns because of the Constitution. At what point do you look at the Constitution and say, hey, this was written by people who had slaves. Maybe not everything is exactly to a T in the Constitution. Like a million years from now, you're going to use a document written in the – it's just nuts. In what world? The world evolves. People okay. Let's continue reading. Portnoy said it's bananas that the court moved away from its women's informed decisions on how they may lead their lives. He also blasted those who think whole, uh, who whole think, uh, the whole thing, excuse me, that's important in a constitutional issue because it may hurt poor people. I just don't get it. To take away the ability to inform decisions on how they want to live their lives is bananas. He also said uh, many uh, are hypocritical for supporting the court's efforts to make Second Amendment rights a national issue while working to remand abortion rules back to the states. At what point do you look at the Constitution and law and say, hey, it was written by people who had slaves. Maybe not everything is exactly in the Constitution. Port Portnoy bloviated. Like a million years from now, you're going to look use the Constitution as a document written in. It's just nuts. In what world? The world evolves. People evolve. Technology evolves. you got to evolve. No, Dave. Sorry. Not when it comes to saving lives. Of course, the reason that the court struck down Roe isn't in that it isn't in the Constitution in the first place, while the Second Amendment is clearly in the document and it shall not be infringed. It's the only amendment that cannot be amended. But Portnoy, thinking that the Constitution is the end-all be-all, is literally crazy pills. The boss of the popular sports uh, website went on to damn both the left and the right. He claimed that the most Americans are financially conservative and socially liberal and worried if gay marriage was next to be vacated. Ah, uh, another one who was taking too many crazy pills. That's why we have to vote for morons like Biden, who is borderline incompetent, because it's too dangerous to vote Republican. Like, what the F is, uh, what are we doing? Wake up, he concluded. This is no sudden about face for Portnoy. Back in May, he told fans that if the court overturned Roe, he would vote Democrat from that point forward. Now, we go from that crazy pill talk 
to absolutely effing insanity. This comes also out of Breitbart. 29-year-old man identifying as a woman beats a teen girl at skateboarding tournament. It's madness. This is the clown boy. Exactly. A 29-year-old man living as a woman beat a 13-year-old girl in first place during a skateboard tournament event recently held in New York City, and social media users had strong opinions about it. Quote, Ricky Trays, who also goes by Ricky and Trays, took top title in the women's division at the border open, taking home 500 hours, Fox News reported on Sunday. In second place was Shalo Katori, 13 years old, who is 133rd in the Border Globe rankings, which are based on performance of skateboarding competitions. Trey, by comparison, sits at 838th in the rankings. The youngest competitor was 10 years old, came in fifth. Meanwhile, Border also shared the results on its website. In a social media post on Saturday, female skateboarder Taylor Silverman posted photos of the competitors. Now, of course, those who are familiar with Taylor Silverman, she finished second to a dude in another skateboarding event, of course, sponsored by Red Bull. Male wins women's skateboarding finals and money open border, I'm sorry, at the border open in New York City, presented by DC Today. Women's final results. Yikes. Silverman follow express uh, their opinions on the matter. One person writing pisses me off. Many have worked so hard to get women's skateboarding more recognition. Girls have worked so hard. Quote, so many gains over the last few years in contest sponsors, money, time, and TV. It uh, it's being taken advantage, discounting all the hard work, and will ruin those gains. The user continued, "Quote: Congratulations, Shiloh, you were the winner." Another commented, "Another. This is not inclusiveness; it's madness." Someone replied, "In May, Silverman blasted critics who attacked her for criticizing men who claim to be women and compete in sports against biological women." Uh, Barbar News reported, "I thought it was unfair at the time." I really thought it was uncomfortable. Silverman so explained reference to competing in sports as a trans athlete, adding that she went through the motions and tried to be a good sportsman. She continued, But the more I sat with it, the more I thought about it, the more I felt like I needed to say something because I recognize that this is an issue bigger than skateboarding. This is impacting all different sports, girls and women on all levels. My thoughts. First, with uh, El Presidente Dave Portnoy, um, like I said, I, I like Dave, I do like Dave, I do follow Dave, and I think he's ballsy. He's extremely ballsy. Um, he's been on Tucker Carlson many times, and Tucker has given him, given, given him excuse me, carte blanche into speaking his mind. He's right. Leftists can't stand him. They hate his guts. The woke left hate his guts. But at the same time, he's doing the right no favors. So basically, Dave, you want to vote for morons like dementia boy in again in 22 and in 24 because you got butt hurt regarding roe because it's a woman's choice but of course as we all know that abortion is not in the constitution it is not a protected right it is a made up right out of whole cloth even ruth bader ginsburg said herself in a 74 press release she felt that she agreed with the premise but it was bad case law comparing it to the second amendment which again shall not be infringed is the only amendment in the constitution that cannot be amended it's the only one so um i hate to say this but uh dave's an idiot now in regards to this woman this dude again enters another women's event, a girl's event, and wins first place, taking away the opportunity of other girls who have actually worked so hard to get to this point. Again, insanity rules. And it's no surprise that being that we are in groomer month still, with of course, thank God, only a few more days, and then corporate media will basically tell them to go fuck themselves, which is of course what they do every year. This is where we're at. Wow. <sighs> to quote, clowns on the left are me, jokers to the right. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's the Next. If you want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>